What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Olive. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing all right. Today, we're here doing back another reaction video. Today, we have a recommendation from Derek. I think your name is. Shouts out to you, big dog. Um, he recommended me react to my first black cookout. So, I'm going to see what's up with this one. It should be funny. I haven't watched this yet. I haven't watched this yet. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Derek know or like funny stuff, so make your boy laugh. With that being said, hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Let's get into the reaction video. All right, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Yeah. I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field. Love That's good. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people position. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of like, passing Sorry, the cop. Sorry, I can't really not. Keep going under the speed limit. Apparently, you ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. It oh my gosh, pause. Listen, I don't care. Hold on, move. My hand move. Anyway, I don't care how much money you have in this world. Every black male can testify to this. Every black male. Once some lights come on behind you and you driving, you ain't like, forget driving. You don't even gotta be driving. You was tightened up straight. You play this. It's like, why the fuck am I sitting like this, right? Like, it's an automatic checklist as a black male. You go down inside your head. Do I have anything illegal on me? No, okay, okay, no, no. Was I speeding? No, 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 no. Then for a quick minute, she'd be like, did I steal this car? Wait, no, this is my car. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have a gun on me? No, no drugs. Okay, no drugs, no drugs, no drugs. Every black male goes to that checklist. Jay Z still goes to that checklist, and Jay Z worth almost Jay Z worth more than a billion dollars. So trust me, it don't matter how successful you are. It's, it's it just happens. I'm telling you, and it's not just because but you, you gotta be. Y'all know. I ain't gonna explain it. Y'all know. Let's get back. Get a call from buddy mine. Play football show. Says, hey buddy, I want you to come to cookout. You, know, you ain't got to snip me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up to cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick em up truck. Pick em up truck. Yeah. I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, <laughs> and me. All right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. All right, well, so there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. No, nope, we don't even remember one of them. There's a long tape. He's called him cousin. Where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating that, okay? Mm -hmm. They bring me over and set me down. Ooh, they the fancy, they got a, boy, hold oh, on. Y'all have a table that y'all cook up? Stop playing, now, nah, all right, let me pause this right there. All my black people are like, he has a table? You can see, this is a scripted um, um, thing. Because we don't have no table. But your lap is the table. Your hand is the table. You freaking? Boy, that's the table. A long table? Nah, bro, that's cap. Maybe they have a table to put the stuff on. Bro, your lap and your hand is the table. Straight up. I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. You are eating. That's all. What are you doing? Well, they say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix yeah. your plate for you. They do. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this <laughs> with barbecue. Yeah. Okay. I shit my leg. And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties. With two different potato salads. Oh God! All right. No. They said we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. Oh now, God! Apparently, just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout. Okay. No. So I ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Smart answer. Now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great grandma, Mama T, that's what they call her, she comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. No. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats, all right? That barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness. And she wants, she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, 
I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day-Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. <laughs> you, ain't have, you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this and pie, the and the woods, especially the head woman. Boss, bro. You can get what happened to the no woods, bro. You get you at a park? Yes. What? I've never. Need me one documentary show? Just a documentary show where you see black people in the woods. That's like seeing a black person in Alaska. Not even Alaska. What? Antarctica. It ain't happening, bro. There, dude. She ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. No, you get your ass beat for that. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis of a food coma. I did just like this right here. Just like this. I'm like, whew, I'm full. As soon as I tipped him on the head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow, I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high state spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And now the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea. Right, you know. I'm white. We played go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cornhole. cut it off the stalk, all right? Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we toss it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the run around idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever, because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. I've got every damn spade you could possibly have. What well, ghetto you saying? Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up, and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and say, hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. But I ain't gonna piss nobody off. You gotta understand, at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this <laughs> cookout. I do whatever they tell me to yeah, do. Great if they to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Y'all hurt me. Okay? Now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. Yeah. But apparently, Bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spent. <laughs> and apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for your white man loses because they just took my money and I just put some more down until I ran out of money. Which is fine. Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slow... Where's the friend that brought you to this party, bro? I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place. You better carry some leftovers. Now, I get to my truck. I put my hand on my truck to go open it and there's a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like I didn't piss nobody off, nothing went wrong. I went, whew, I made it. Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout is behind me. Everybody there is right around my truck with Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me and said, hey buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday, you coming back? And I looked at him. Uh -huh. Bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back because that's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. I was scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> but at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. 
I told him, I said, y'all y'all need me to bring something like some ice, because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all y'all want some ice or like or like some uh you mean go get my little cousin Kyle who wears monster hats and shit and bring him. You know, so he'll he'll feel at home. He got white beaters and stuff. Y'all what y'all need? They come here, I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me and I. Would y'all yep. be there? Bring yourself. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Yeah. Shit. Yeah man. Violet you cook out is the job, boy. And you can't let me tell you, let me put y'all on here. Don't use propane. Propane, the kerosene, not propane, that's not kerosene. Kerosene and propane is two different. Propane, you know what I mean? Gas, 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 gas ovens, gas grills. Use coal. Use wood. That 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 meat. That 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 all that meat. All that meat. All that meat. That yo. That, that, that be busting. I'm telling y'all. I'm putting y'all on game. Listen to me. And you you putting your seasoning, your raw, and another thing, boy, for your ribs, don't tell nobody to tell you this, all right? Boil it the night before. Once you boil it, then you season it again. Wait, you season, no, no, you season it. No, you boil it, then you season it. You know what I mean? You season it. Don't boil it to the power with the boom for No, 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 no. Just a slight couple minutes boil so the, so the meat can be soft. You know what I mean? Not too soft. But it ain't hot, man. You're not trying to say it. Make the meat a little good. You know what I mean? Damn, put it on the grill. Yeah. Nice low temperature. Nice low temperature. Let that be cook nice and good. Nice and good. Let it be like a little burnt. You don't want it too burnt now. Like a nice little burnt. I can taste that right now. Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry for yesterday recording. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Shout out to Derek for recommend recommending this video. I like it, I really did. I'm gonna start watching this guy more often. Shout out to you, Zach, Zacharias, Zach Russian. I don't know why his Zacharias, but hope you guys enjoyed this. Smash the like button, subscribe, comment down below anything else you guys want to see me react to. And be happy, be blessed, and remember the world is yours. Yeah.